Hey everyone, Anna here, and today I'm joined once again by Steven. Hey everyone. And Steven, what day is it today? It's the one year anniversary of Portal Stories Mail. We launched oh, on Steam yeah. exactly one year ago. Yeah, it's been a year already. Wow. In that time, we've had over 700,000 downloads. That's an insane amount of people that have, that have downloaded it. The, the town I live in has like 35,000 people, so it's 20 times my town. That's the amount of people that have downloaded our game. It's an insane amount. For me, it would be like if half the country played our game. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Yeah, a year, wow. And we've seen uh, all the response from everyone on Steam forums, reviews, uh, reviews, uh, fan art, fan theories, uh, deviant art, uh, Tumblr, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we see all like we've seen like pretty much everything that's ever been posted. I mean, we very rarely publicly comment on it, but we we do see it all. All the hashtag rain girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's been absolutely amazing uh, to see all that. Oh no, that's the wrong thing that I'm loading. We've, we we already shot a video before and the audio volume was wrong, so we're like, we're gonna record a new video and I make exactly the same mistake twice. I am so good at this. You have to make it authentic. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <sighs> Here at Prism Studios, we never make the same mistakes twice. Only three times. Uh, That's a three. Uh, you know. That's for the third game we're currently working on. It's, uh, we, we reserved it for that. Actually, we're not working on anything uh, related to Valve IPs. We're actually working on um, two brand new projects. Yep, uh, our own independent intellectual property or whatever. Yes, brand new games. Booyah! And, um... Yeah, we don't have much to tell you about them yet. Uh, we hope to be releasing one of them within a year from now. Hopefully, if everything goes right, we'll let you know once we. Uh, yeah, we'd rather know not. A bit more. Yeah, give out imprecise dates or anything. <laughs> I think we've learned our lesson with regards to that. Yeah, exactly. And here we're gonna just spoil one of the Easter eggs, one of uh, our favorites. Yeah, I still remember writing that in. <laughs> Hello there, gorgeous. Might I say you're looking as beautiful as a rainbow. Did you... Uh, uh, by any chance, uh, get that core's serial number? Uh, I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm asking for a, a, a friend. Yes, friend. <laughs> Whenever our, I was actually cutting the lines up for that, because uh, obviously Stieg, who voiced Virgil, had did like five or six takes of that line, I intentionally took like his worst recording of it, where his voice cracked like five times in it, because I thought it made it just a lot more authentic and funny. Yeah, it's just, just like super nervous, like yeah, it's a it's a great little Easter egg. But yeah, in the, in, in the last year, like, we've not only been, uh... Oh, that's the wrong portal. Oh, well. Still don't know how to solve this puzzle, and you already solved it. <laughs> St uh, here, we have the purple one, okay? Uh, no, but, um... Yeah, in the, oh, in the last year, we haven't, uh... Really... Not, well, bah! Words. Words are hard. No, um, we've been really busy, and uh, we've actually released our second mod kind of thing. Yeah. We have to give massive thanks to Valve for giving us Vive Prees to allow us to generously work on a VR project, yeah. which was incredibly, you know, insightful and not to learn and stuff. Wow, ten out of ten. You can see that I played this game before. But yeah, it's it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, 
we've been working in Unreal Engine 4 for uh, Portal Stories VR because Source Engine uh, doesn't support VR at the moment. Well, at least not the publicly released versions anyway. Yeah, exactly. Probably Source 2 will have support for VR, but I doubt that the original Source Engine will. But anyways, um, yeah, we've learned a lot from that project because it's a different engine. All the things that are in the game, like fizzlers and buttons and stuff, we all had to reprogram that. And that was, uh, that was a really fun challenge. We've learned a lot from it, and uh, yeah, we use all that knowledge in our new projects. And uh, yeah. And now it's just the uh, see see how the how the new projects go and uh... yeah well within like the past year you know they've even released <laughs> another game as well especially given how long Fortress Rose Mel took to make and then like obviously like being nominated for the game award and then winning that by a public vote was just incredible so like a huge yeah, thank you to everybody absolutely. who voted for us and then we also got voted for the mod db's like uh mod of the year editor's yeah. choice as well as like 10th i think on the public choice yeah something like that it's it's been absolutely incredible yeah like all of the feedback that we get from everyone like is just so important to us and we take on board everything and you know use that to try to make our games better in the future yeah, absolutely. If it wasn't for you, we would have wouldn't have uh, released updates like the story mode for uh, Portal Stories now. I think a lot of people enjoy story mode, and uh, like all your feedback, both positive and negative, really helps us improve as developers and uh, helps us create even better games in the future. And so we would really like to thank everyone who. Uh, yeah, who has left all kinds of comments uh, on our games, and uh, yeah, we're 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 busy working on something uh, new and uh, new and exciting. Um, we'll have to see how that turns out and when exactly we are going to be able to release that. Unfortunately, things have been complicated a little bit further um, last week with the vote for the Brexit. Um, Stephen lives in the United Kingdom. I don't. I live in the Netherlands. Um, so, yeah. Um, setting up a, a business with partners in various countries is already uh, very challenging. And setting that up in a completely unknown political st uh, situation obviously makes it even harder. So, we'll have to see how things go, but... Yeah, we'll find a way to work through it. It's disappointing, but, you know, just one more obstacle we'll have to crush. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, yeah. I'm sure that uh, we'll figure it out. And, uh, yeah, thanks again for all your support uh, throughout uh, the last few years, and specifically with uh, Mel. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep, thanks for everything. <laughs> we just had to get back for this one very important thing we completely forgot. Chris, if you're watching this, you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> uh, Mel has been downloaded over 700,000 times, so Chris, you've already been fired 700 times, but we just have to make sure that you know it. 700,000 times. <laughs>